to go for the dome an awful lot, and seeing uh, Zana do it's definitely a bit of a change up. Kyle is sending codes in the form of codes now. <laughs> Coded? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, th I, th I think at this point, Kyle is just getting some sort of sick pleasure out of torturing people. Just, like, denying the entire copy-paste frenzy. <laughs> hey, you gotta have some fun with it. <laughs> hmm. Cripples the Alden. I guess he kinda needs to, to make sure he doesn't die. Okay, now Zana's gonna randomly end up with an enrage, I'm sure. For the first time in the game, Zana has drawn a card outside of her draw step. <laughs> Ooh. More cards, please. More tainted, but they don't seem to ever activate. And a stolen retreat. Nice! Took Amber's retreat. Now Amber, again, is probably kicking herself in the foot. It's like very ticked oh, off. No, that was a retreated Priest of Light, right? So, that's yeah. probably pretty good for Amber. Because, I mean, like, playing Priest of Light is the only way she's gonna survive more than the next two turns. That's true. Not as an Oracle that's threatening each other. I completely unrelated... On a completely unrelated note, you guys. The chat in the RC is getting quite steamy. Uh, some... You know, Razpro and uh, GDC and Kyle, you know, tossing a couple of, uh, you know, sprinkling some light spoilers and dates in there. Uh-oh. So spoilers and dates, that's not good. <laughs> oh my. There's a lot of hot dates going on on IRC. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, we well, we said, we said September, well, I said September-ish for the first expansion. And I also said... Uh, that could just be when it hits the test server. Because really, we don't know. Mm. Do you do that much? We don't know until we test. Do you do that much teasing on the hidden part of your website? <laughs> the hidden part of my website, there's a lot going on, yeah. And I'm missing out yeah, on that right now. signing is going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone else is missing out. Yeah, I gotta find the uh. way to hit part of your website. I need to know the password. Oh, the password is chess in the world. <laughs> oh, dead. oh, wow! I touch for a surprise decripple. So, um, yeah, the first expansion status for everybody watching is the cards are designed, but we need them implemented to start testing. And uh, because Kyle's been so busy with the physical cards, um, he's not been able to review the code that his programmers have done yet and put it on. Uh, what we call the design server, which is a private server for the design team and the PFG players focus group uh, play on. So when the cards are on there and we can actually make use of them, then we'll be doing a lot of focus testing, uh, choosing heroes, trying things out, make sure nothing's broken. Um, and the estimate is eight weeks ish, possibly more. We'll have to see how things go. And until we've properly tested, then we can't push to the test server. The test server isn't about balance testing, really. It's about finding bugs. It's about quality of the implementation, whereas the PFG eight weeks ish is more about finding out whether the card design is balanced or not. So um, we can't tell you until we get more info from actually trying the cards, but July and August, it definitely won't be out then. Um, we'll just yeah. post updates. Well, as we find out about them. Well, you can tell us, but you're probably be wrong. Yeah, we can <laughs> tell you and we'd be wrong, and people don't like that. So, um, when I say yeah. September-ish, that could be two or three months either side of September. So, um, well, I mean, the, the, the only spoiler that I can give you guys is, you know, we're going to try and, like, sprinkle stuff about, so it's not, like, complete dead time of waiting for two months. You know, just... You know, ranting and raving. So we'll try and you know, have lots of you know fun stuff we can do with you guys to kind of you know fill the gap. Yeah, I think that when the uh, booster draft comes uh, online, we'll make heavy use oh, out of that. That will shake things up. And the physical cards are only the out. Energy. There'll be a lot of yeah. new players joining, 
and essentially when the first expansion comes out that will completely change the game so <laughs> the clock is ticking oh, on yeah. the Gee, game as it you, is you don't so. know that what do you mean I won't know that, that 152 <laughs> cards will change the game of course it will every new card that comes out changes the game so does it really um, the, the new set could be like 150 campfire stories I assure you it's not 150 campfire stories. That idea was it's rejected. It's 149 campfire stories. <laughs> yes, it's 149. <laughs> I love you hard the game. 150 fire snakes. <laughs> oh, yes. man. I love you hard for that one fire snake. Two, uh, before the design team uh, changed. That was Calm Down's plan, but <laughs> we changed the design team and now... Yeah, Calm Down wanted to make I think it was like water snake and lightning snake and uh, I think it was like a molten snake and it was like a wind snake. It was crazy stuff. I just got a snake. And somehow they all cost one to play. Yeah, yeah, they all cost one. That's they all have one, two stats. Cost one. That sounds like the best deck ever. It is a good deck. It's <laughs> an elemental, elemental snake deck. It's pretty powerful. I'm just saying, if, yep. if I could play, I, I would play that deck. It's just a stack of fire snakes. All day long. Yeah. So currently we're at 2-0. I clips over Flytrunk. If he wins this third one, he takes the the crown, doesn't he? Takes the crown. He's in a lovely position right now. He's just yeah. joining the chat as well. Um, yeah, he can afford to lose two games. So he can go all out. Um, the third place playoff is currently one all. But it doesn't matter at this point. You still can't afford to take any risks. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sure Flychung, if anything, is probably stressing right now. Like he's probably getting like you know bothered, yeah. he's nervous, he's like buckling. Like he, he he's thinking this guy like rips focus prayers off the top of his deck right when he needs them. Like that kind of stuff has a has an impact on you. It's like I really want that iPad. So exactly. Iclips is is gonna reset his internet connection. Um, cause he's having issues. So he's coming back on fire. So. Um, the uh, third match between Busty and Jackie has only just started, so you might want to tune into that, see how that goes. Let's go take some there. look at Busty then, see how he's doing. Oh, they're still playing games? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's third and fourth prizes, alright. Yeah, they're playing for third, and it's 1-1 right now, it's game three starts. Third place gets $100, PayPal, and uh, fourth place gets $50, so this is for... Fifty dollars this uh, playoff, which isn't bad. That'll buy a full not set of cards. All, Obviously, huh? they've already got them, but um, yeah, it's not too shabby. <laughs> nope. And whoever loses out, will, uh, well, I mean, everybody who's come so close but yet so far in these top thirty-two games is really kicking themselves, thinking they definitely should have just done real work instead of testing to <laughs> actually afford said iPad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they've had a time. Jackie I, messed I up the shuffle for fun. This is the first time yeah. Jackie did not get a turn three blood frenzy. Instead, Busty did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's not the same though. Have an iPad. Oh, okay, there we go. Best okay. in the world. Um, is the next game up in our feature yet? No. No. Iclips has to reboot his uh, computer and his router. He's having internet issues, so. <laughs> Best in the world. I would too if I was him. Can't say that yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So many people blow on a piece of light. I know it's a popular card in the top four. Very much so. Almost as much as Retreat. Yeah, that card too. Yeah. Uh, so retreat, many retreat cards. Lots of Aeon, too. Yeah. Interesting finals, though. I mean, not what I expected. I just saw Kyle post a, w a weird um, thing, and I, I was trying to work out what it meant, and I realized it was one of these codes, one of these redeemable <laughs> codes. I'm like, why is he yeah. saying many oh. young children, four females, could enjoy nothing that's from your quote? Royal like, Golden Qatar. <laughs> Wow, that's really wacky, so... Jealous? Yeah, Master someone's worked out to have two screens open. Jealous? People play guitar? It's yeah. spoiled. It's pretty to look at. And guitar, guitar is fun, but in specific decks, though. 
I mean, in a Badaru deck, in okay, okay, you have to understand D and D how it works. In the physical game, it's it's a little bit different because in the online, um, once you hit that mid to top tier, everybody has a full set. Yeah. So you can switch on the fly. But in the physical card game, not everybody's gonna have a full set. So just what me. we learned from Origins is, is yes, just you. <laughs> what we learned from the Origins is you know you see a lot of cards being played that you wouldn't usually be in play. You see, like there's because Leyline Nexus is so hard to find, and rarities actually matter. You can't just have four Aeons because I, you're bored. I suppose it, that's it's, fair if you're like playing like kitchen table kind of stuff. But if you're like, yeah. playing for the sake of like actually playing the game and not just for killing some time with people, then you're gonna see like more consistent people like if, if you're playing with uh, just a group of friends or some like Collins thing or whatever just pe- a, a casual group to be fair that's that's honest yeah. assumption but if you're playing in that group chances are you're a part of that group and you don't have infinite number of cards to build whatever you want either whereas yeah. if you're talking about a more serious scene where you have all the cards the other people you have to expect them to as well. Which is true. I mean, granted, the physical scene hasn't hit that level yet, where there is that top tier of people who scattered about who have That's all of the cards. That's because nobody has their cards. Much other people. <laughs> well, some people do. People went to Origins do. But well, the, the, the cards... Hmm. I mean, kind of, a, kind of a low blow, but some people, <laughs> some few other people do. <laughs> but yeah, basically what he's saying is the the people that play the physical card game obviously that didn't do this pre-order they're not going to have a full play set so if they're going to play decks that aren't made with a full library of cards and because of that you're going to get differences in meta developments and meta shifts and things like that yeah you know, they'll, they'll, they'll learn and develop different cards than we did online. So That's they're gonna kinda, true, they'll but yeah. develop I don't differently. know how many copies of Foil Golden Guitars Kyle really needs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Foil anything is cool, okay? The Foils just look really nice. Like, you get a Foil, like, yes. bad card, and you're like, this card's good, it's Foil, it's amazing! He's like, I need new wallpaper yeah. for my office! I'll have you know I made an <laughs> Elementalist deck in the physical game for no reason other than I pulled Foil Elementalist. I was like, this is now my hero. <laughs> I, I have a Foil that's sitting around somewhere. Yeah. See, there you well, go. Lu- Louis here has to play Foil Baduru now because he has, he has it Foil. Oh, 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 okay, well... I can help with that. You <laughs> well, Jumbo, you, you pulled a Foil Armor of Ages too, so it's like God spoke to you and declared you had to make the Elementalist deck. <laughs> Yeah, you see, it's true. Because I mean, the whole I mean, game works like that. You have to make elementalists. You get an elementalist and armor pages and all foil and shiny and stuff. Well, because, okay, I pulled a foil Logan, but I never took the time to build the Logan deck. Uh, it's same right. I have to build one for that. The game is up there. there. Have you, have you joined, joined the game? Yes. I believe Busty's oh. won uh, the, the current match. No, yeah, no, my no, no, won that set. I clicked his up. Yeah. I clicked his up. Yeah. I clicked his up. And. Um, Sly Chung has just played a turn one Burgit, who just got retreated. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, no, because I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm in the Eclipse game, yeah. game now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the Eclipse game now. She won't take no for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what oh. I think Sly Chung needs to do, though. Right off the gate, turn one, he's already dropped an ally. Turn two, drop an ally. Turn three, drop an ally. See how it goes. Yeah. I'd say for yeah. Amber, the turn one Bridget is not as important as Zana using up that retreat. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. the fact that the retreat's gone on in skull form. That's so important. Yeah, the fact that you you force that one retreat out already. I mean, granted, it, Zana does have the four title leaves and the four retreats. We've all seen those so far, but you know, you know what, forcing to dip into that well. That matters. That has an impact well, right there. I don't think the Zana was forced to dip into that well. I mean, she had the jazz. If she had the Jasmine in hand, even if Amber has the Dirk and plays it, Amber. Uh, I mean, Zana can easily just retreat and kill. Yeah. Well, th- that's like, true. Because, but it's going to take till the Amber on turn three doesn't. Uh, she doesn't have Rusty Longsword or anything. She doesn't ha- really have. 
Well, no, I suppose if she does have the turn 2 Dirk and the turn 3 Alden, she'll be able to K 